What's up guys, it's Moni Sensation and welcome back to my channel. I stay starting off these videos looking crazy, but today, as you read by the title, I'm going to be doing a Bantu Knot Out tutorial. So yeah, this is also a collab with Okay, I can't remember her name right now, but I'll put it on the screen. It's, um, it's the same person as... I did a collab with her before. Um, her name was XO Shania. But um, she changed it, so I put her new Instagram on the screen. And I'll link her channel in the description. But yeah, so the reason I look so crazy right now is because I just got done having a wash and go. Okay, so before I get started, I thought I would show you guys. Um, I've been starting this rice water thing. So, yeah. Um, so, I thought I'd show you guys what I do. This is my second time doing it. I do it every time I wash my hair, which is every two weeks. So, yeah. I kind of want to do it more frequently, but I'm not going to be doing, like, a wash and go every, like, week. Y'all see what I'm saying? Whatever. I kind of want to do it more frequently, but that's every time I wash my hair, so. Anyway, so I already started spraying the water in. I just put it in this spray bottle. I just put it in the spray bottle, and I've just been spraying it on my hair. That's why I look so crazy, but I want to see if we have any growth. I'm pretty sure we don't, because it's like my second time doing it, literally. But yeah, so... I took some before pictures. I put the picture right here. And then this is where I am right now. So yeah, this is where I'm at right now. Right like to the top of my chest. So yeah. I I'll have to see later when I edit if there's any growth. I'm pretty sure there's not. But back to spraying the rice rice water on. Last time I did it totally wrong. Last time I did like, oh snap. Last time I sprayed only a little bit. I only sprayed it in my roots and I wasn't very like generous with it. And also I let it, I only let it sit in for like 15 minutes. So this time I think I'm gonna let it sit for an hour because I really want it to work its magic. But also I don't want protein overload so this in here i have the rice water and then i have regular water to dilute it and i have peppermint essential oil because as y'all probably know it smells terrible so i have like this much left I'm just going to go in the bathroom and like pour it over my head and then I'm just gonna put on the shower cap and let it sit for an hour and then I'm gonna wash my hair so I'll be back when my hair is washed in yeah so I'll be back okay so I was just realizing that I didn't do my other lint check from like the front of my face and I feel like it'll be easier to tell if there's growth from like right here so this is where I'm at, like, from just forward, it's like at the top of the bottom of my neck, so, yeah. Oh, let me move over to the side so I can put the picture in. So, yeah, you guys tell me if you see any growth because, yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm back hours later. As you can see, back there it's 8.15, so I'm stupid tired for no reason, but I'm not even going to speak on that. My hair is blow-dried, um, but before we get into the Bantu knots, let me clear up some stuff about blow-dried hair. A lot of people, I'm just going to make this quick, a lot of people think that blow-drying your hair can damage your hair or they stay away from, away from heat altogether, but... You can heat train your hair. So when you blow dry your hair, the hair, the heat, okay, clearly I can't talk fast. 
when you blow dry your hair, the heat is not as intense as when you straighten your hair. So people who don't blow dry their hair, I'm not saying you have to blow dry your hair. But like some people, I've known some like gurus that don't blow their Oh my gosh. I know some gurus that don't blow dry their hair for like a year. And once they do blow dry their hair, their hair gets damaged. And that's because like when you don't blow dry your hair for the whole year, you have like a lot of new growth that has never experienced heat before. And so when it does experience heat, it gets really like, it doesn't know what to do because it's never experienced heat. But when you heat train your hair, it doesn't get damaged. So my hair, I blow dry my hair every time I wash it. Well, most of the time, every time I wash it. And it's not damaged. So yeah, my hair is heat drained because my mom has been blow drying my hair since ever. So yeah, um, now let's get into the dance move. So my hair feels really, it, it feels weird, like to say the least. It feels weird right now. I don't know. It doesn't usually feel like this when it's blow dry, but I guess it's because my hair got dry before we combed it out and blow dried it. So that's probably part of the problem. My mom usually puts coconut oil in my hair when she's blow drying it, but she didn't this time. So we're going to be putting. Okay, come on now. We're going to be putting coconut oil in it when I'm doing my fancy dance. So this tutorial is literally like so simple and easy. Like, it's so easy. So I'm going to put my hair up, except for like the back row. My hair feels so dry. I'm never doing that again. Oh, wow. So, I'm going to take the back row and put coconut oil on it. Hey, guys. So, yeah, basically, okay. Okay, so, yeah, just take the back row. Get your coconut oil I'm gonna, I usually just put it on the ends, but I'm putting it on the whole thing today. Don't forget to subscribe to- For good content. You don't post that. My hair literally feels so dry. Yeah. So, um, I wanted to try to put the Shea Moisture Coil- I wanted to try to put the Shea Moisture curling, curling, um, what is this called again? Curling smoothie. But I don't think I'm going to just because I've never done that before and then I'm going to try to do it on the video and then it's going to come out looking stupid and then y'all will be like, why is she doing that to soil? Her hair doesn't even look good. So, yeah, I'm just going to do how I usually do it. Also, I really hope this doesn't turn out bad because my hair feels like like we didn't blow dry it in the right order. I don't know what is wrong with me today. Like, I really don't know. Let me just stop speaking. So, if you don't know how to do fancy knots, I'm going to show you. So, I just twist my hair like this. And then I just wrap it around. I hope you guys can, y'all can't see anything because my stupid ears in the way. Uh, I'll have to do it on the next one. These are the size sections that I do. So I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see this time. So I twist my hair, just twisting it literally. And then I basically wrap it on itself, so I just wrap it in a circle. It's basically going to do it on its own. It's basically going to do it on its own, but you're just helping it out, basically. Oh my gosh. 
Of course, I wouldn't be able to do it right when I need to. And then the last piece, you're going to tuck it in. Make sure it's tucked in or they're going to come out at night. So, why am I so freaking weak? That is the real question. Anyway, so, I'm going to finish off and I'll come back when I'm closer up to the front. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, so I'm literally getting stressed out because I really want this to work out, but it better work out because every other time it works out, but the one time I want to film a tutorial, it's not going to work out. So, um, anyway, I'm going to do my middle part now. Um, that's a terrible part. I always usually do middle parts for everything. Because I don't like how a side part looks on me. It just doesn't look right. Like, it just doesn't. Okay, so I'm about done. I'm on my last one. I do them a little bit smaller towards the top. Just know the bigger you do it, the bigger your curls are going to be the smaller the smaller like it's logical so okay another tip is that after I do it I untwist it a little bit so it's a little bit looser on my hair so yeah these are the fancy knots let me do a full 360 for you guys. They're not like parted any type of way. They're just, they're just, you know, they're just doing their own little thing. So yeah, once I go, once I'm done with all of them, there might be a few ones that are a little loose. So I'll probably just redo them because sleep with the bonnet because even though I do sleep with this silk pillowcase I just want them just in case one of them comes out it'll be like more like in place if that makes sense anyway so good night let's pray this works out because I don't know what was wrong with my hair today out of all days. Like, it wants to act up right now. But we're not even going to speak on that. So, good night. I will see you guys in the morning. Oh, shoot. My hands are so greasy. I can't even do it. So, bye. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. So, it's the morning now. I'm about to take these out. So when I take them out, I just unravel it a little bit and it basically slides right off itself. And that's what it should look like. Just little, you know. Yeah, that's what it should look like. And then basically, I just separate it where it wants to separate. And then I twirl it around just a little bit so it could keep its shape. And then, yeah. Oh, y'all really can't see anything. I just separated it four times for that one. It really depends on how big it is, how much you separate it.
many in the front but i might leave like four in the front row as that as a style or i might put two in the front or yeah but i'm not doing that today <music>